Hello, my friends. Welcome to Breakfast with Sergio. This is episode number 74, episode number 74 of Breakfast with Sergio. And today I want to talk about how to create a compelling artist statement, how to create a compelling artist statement. Something that many artists are struggling with all the time. Well, first of all, for breakfast today, I have pancakes with Nutella. Two delicious pancakes with Nutella. If you like Nutella, this is a great way to eat it. Just put it spread on top of two pancakes. Delicious, very good, bit sweet, but you know, if you like that stuff, this is good stuff. This is gonna get me going this morning. So my friends, I wanna talk about how to create a compelling artist statement. Uh, this is something that I've been helping artists for quite a while inside the Art Next Level program. Uh, where I coach artists and I help artists with their art career. And often, you know, they send me the art statements and I work with them in figuring out, you know, how to make the best art statement. So today I wanna give you a quick recipe, how to create a compelling art statement in three easy steps. Three easy steps to create your art statement and to be a good one. So this is what you can do. Take a piece of paper or you can do it on your computer and first answer three questions. You have to answer three questions. The first question that you want to answer is, what is it that you make? What is it that you make? In your art statement, the first question that you want to answer is, what is it that you make? And you can do this in this order, and it will be a nice, easy flowing art statement. What is it that you make? You know, it's a painting, it's drawing, it's sculptures, or it's a combination of them. Uh, but more than just the object itself, what is it? You know, what is it that you depict in your, in your work? And uh, when you work in an art statement, you want to create an art statement that is current. What is it that you're currently making, right? Uh, your art statement should be about your current work, um, not something that you did some 30 years ago. But what is the current thing that you are working on that you are doing? So your art statement is always changing, it's always fluctuating, again, to reflect what art is it that you're making right now. So the first question that you are answering to create a compelling art statement is, what is it that I make? So write it down, make, you know, write some thoughts, some ideas. Uh, another way in which you can do it is just record it in your phone, you know, just like if you are talking to somebody so that then you can go back and analyze what you said. Uh, just write down what is it that you make, you know, describe what you make. Then in the second paragraph, after you finish writing what you make, then write down um, how you make it, how you make it. Is it a specific process you use? How, how you make it, how you uh, create this that you just described? You know, how is it that you do it? How is it that you depict what you uh, make? Uh, maybe there's a, sp a specific process that you use. Maybe there's a certain way in which you uh, work. And I'm gonna show you a sample. I'm gonna show you how I have created my own art statement using this very easy three-step method. First, what is it that you make? how you make it, right? How in the world you make that thing, uh, whatever it is that you make, whether it's painting, drawing, installation, whatever it is, uh, how. And then the third question that you want to answer is why, why you make it, you know, why in the world you make it? Uh, and that is also a very important question. It's a great way to end your art statement because this is, you know, the answer of why does it matter, right? You make these things, but why does it matter? Why does it matter to you? Why does it matter to the world? So uh, ask these three questions, what is that you make, how you make it, and why it matters. So let me show you, my friends, how I answer these three questions in my own art statement. And this is an art statement that I've been using for quite a while uh, because my work uh, has been about this for the last you know, 10 years or so. And I tweak it here and there uh, once in a while, like, again, just to make sure it's still relevant. So let me show you uh, how I answer these three questions in my own art statement. It will be a good example for you if you are struggling right now with your art statement, if you're having a hard time with your art statement. Um, you know, first of all, before I show it to you, your art statement doesn't have to be this very long document. It doesn't have to be your life story. It doesn't have to be this very complex, very thoughtful document. You know, make it simple, make it easy to read. More than anything, make it understandable to the person who is reading it, correct? So here I'm gonna show you, or if you are um, watching this here on, on Facebook right now or in YouTube, if you are listening to the podcast, then I will read it for you as well. So here's how I answer the question of what. So what do I make? Well. This is how I start my art statement. The human form is the most important element in my paintings, and it exists as an anonymous representation of the self. The figure dominates the work, and it is depicted as a shadow, aura, ghost, or energy light. So that answers the question of what I make, right? I make paintings, 
right? They're based in the human figure. I describe a little bit of what they are. Now the next question that I answer is how? How do I make these paintings about the human figure, right? What makes them different from everybody else's paintings of the human figure? So I go with the next uh, paragraph, very short, concise, the, and I answer the question of how this way. The figures exist in condensed fields of color and texture that often resemble natural habitats. It is unknown whether the human figures are indoors or outdoor, uh, they perceive or remember standing or floating alive or dead, right? It, it, it doesn't matter. In my artwork, presence overrides identity. So that's what, how I do my work. That's how I uh, represent the human figure in my paintings, right? That's what makes them different from other people. So I just answered the what, the how, and now let me answer the why. So in my art statement, now I'll tell you why I do these things because I'm interested in the human and spiritual experience throughout the cycles of life. The human figures stand still, observe, communicate, and or listen as they exist in their physical state. Overall, you know, after all these things, overall, I appeal for a sense of human awareness and spiritual consciousness. That's exactly why I do these things. That's why I make my work. So as you see in my statement, I answer the what question, the how question and the why question. Very three, import, three very important questions that to answer in an art statement. And when you do that, you know, then you have a nice, compelling, great art statement. It doesn't have to be complicated. It doesn't have to be, uh, you know, something out of this world, uh, complex. It could be uh, something that you can do uh, yourself. Sit down, uh, do this exercise, answer those three questions write them down and then start analyzing your answers, condense them, find the right words that you're happy with, and then your statement will nicely flow answering those three questions or what is it that you make, how you make it, and why you make it. And when you're done, you will have a nice, beautiful art statement that you can use when you're applying for exhibitions, where you can put in your website, when you're applying for grants, when you're applying for anything, uh, there you have a nice, beautiful artist statement. And if you need help with your art statement, you can always find us at the Art Next Level. That's where you can find all the help that you need as an artist. Just go to www.theartistnextlevel.com. You can download all the resources that we have for free available for you, as well as our community of artists if you want to join us and work with us. So my friends, I hope you enjoy this episode of Breakfast with Sergio. Share it with your friends, share it with your friends. This is an episode in which, or a topic that many artists are always struggling with, you know, how to write my art statement. How do I know if my art statement makes sense, if it flows? Follow these three steps. You will have a nice flow uh, statement that you can use for your next artist statement. So hope you find it helpful. Follow me on uh, Sergio Gomez Projects on Instagram. Of course, on YouTube, Sergio Gomez Video. Uh, check me out here on Facebook as well. And of course, inside the Art Next Level at the Art Next Level, the artist next level .com. Thank you, my friends, for watching. We'll see you in the next episode of Breakfast with Sergio. Bye.